<laughs> hey guys, Brad Danger here. And if you've driven at night anytime in the last few years and just thought, uh, why does the road look like Blade Runner directed by a city council? You, you are not losing it. America's streetlights are turning purple, not metaphorically, not artistically, literally purple. And this is one of those stories that starts as a boring manufacturing defect and uh, somehow turns into a perfect snapshot of modern life, infrastructure, vibes, conspiracy theories, and why the future keeps accidentally becoming cyberpunk. And first, let's address the elephant glowing violet over your neighborhood. No, the lights are not intentional. No, they are not part of an anti-drug campaign. And no, they are not UV scanners, 5G transmitters, vaccine activators, mood manipulators, or, uh, well, weird projector purple beams. And yes, Prince jokes are still funny. We'll get to that in just a sec. The real reason is much simpler, much dumber, and somehow much more American. They are, they're broken. Specifically, a lot of them are broken in the exact same way at the exact same time all across the country. Here's the part most people, they don't actually understand. Modern white LED streetlights are not actually white. They're blue. Inside almost every White LED is a blue LED chip covered in a yellow phosphor coating. When the blue light hits that coating, it converts part of the light to yellow. Blue plus yellow blends into something your brain interprets as white. That coating, it's literally everything. And between roughly 2017 and 2019, a massive number of street lights were manufactured with phosphor coatings that, uh, well, let's just say they weren't great. They kind of delaminated, they just cracked, they chemically degraded. And so over time, the yellow components, well, they faded. So what's left? Raw blue lights bleeding through. And blue plus whatever sad scraps of yellow remains doesn't give you white anymore. It gives you purple. Congratulations, your city just installed a glitch. And here's why this feels like it's happening everywhere all at once. Cities across the U.S. rolled out LED streetlights in huge waves. Same vendors, same bids, same cost cutting, same this should last 20 years optimism. Those lights are now hitting the same age window. So one lamp goes purple, then another, then a whole block. Then suddenly the freeway looks like a synthwave album cover. It's not a coordinated rollout. It's synchronized failure, which honestly might just be the most on-brand thing modern infrastructure has ever done. Now, this is where the story, well, it gets really weird after my couple days of research because despite the fact that these lights are objectively malfunctioning, a shocking number of people, well, they love them. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. Do you love them or do you hate them? I can't wait to see. I mean, personally, I love purple, so I love them. And guys, real quick, Rocky from New York already drove off with the first GTR and the bonus cash that changed his life. We literally flew him out here. He hung out with us for the whole weekend. We shipped his car back home to New York, and the dude had the time of his life. It genuinely changed everything for him, and now it's your turn. If you want a shot at winning your dream car plus bonus cash, hit the link in the pin first comment right now. Now, back to the show. And if you scroll any thread about this and you're gonna see same comments over and over, they're easier on my eyes. It feels calm, it's a vibe, it looks cool. I feel like Ryan Gosling's driving. And look, as much as engineers hate to hear this, those people aren't totally wrong, believe it or not. Let's talk about old street lights for just a second. The original sodium vapor lamps that used to light up highways and neighborhoods were very inefficient, terrible at color accuracy, and made everything look like it was dipped in nacho cheese. But they were really gentle. They didn't blast your retinas. They didn't wreck your night vision. They didn't turn your bedroom into an operating room at midnight. When cities switched to LEDs, they optimized for efficiency, brightness, and longevity. What they didn't optimize, though, was how it feels to exist under them. White and blue heavy light, it's harsh at night. It reduces glare. It messes with circadian rhythms. It makes everything feel awake when it shouldn't. Purple light accidentally avoid some of that. It lowers perceived brightness. It doesn't scatter as aggressively in your eye. It doesn't scream sunrise at your brain. That's why some drivers say it's easier to see lane markings, easier to relax and less fatiguing. Although if you're relaxing too much, you might just fall asleep. So it's also why others absolutely hate it because, well, there's always a flip side. Purple and blue light are bad for certain things. They reduce color rendering. They can hide animals, especially deer. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that one. 
oh dear. They can make gaps between lights feel darker and they can still disrupt sleep cycles. So no, purple is not the perfect solution, but it accidentally revealed something important. We went way too far chasing brightness. If this sounds familiar, that's because, well, it is. This is the streetlight version of modern headlights. Headlights got brighter, whiter, sharper, more aggressive on paper. Visibility improved. In reality, everyone is now blind at night. SUVs sit higher. LEDs are harsher. Aftermarket bulbs, they're literally everywhere. Headlight aim is just a suggestion these days. And now driving at night feels like you're being interrogated by a Subaru Outback with emotional issues. The purple streetlights are just the public infrastructure equivalent of that problem. Optimized in isolation, terrible as a system. Now, let's talk about the conspiracy theories because boy, oh boy, it is interesting. If you wanna understand the internet, this is the perfect case study. People saw purple lights and immediately assumed intent, anti-drug lighting, anti-loitering lighting, anti-vein finding lighting, anti-homeless lighting, anti-everything lighting, to be fair, Blue lights have been used intentionally in bathrooms and parking garages to make it harder to see veins. But that's not what's happening here. This isn't the target. It isn't strategic. It isn't smart. It's just bad manufacturing. And somehow that made people more suspicious because when the explanation is boring, people assume it's a lie, which is how we ended up with these theories involving vaccines, UV activation, ghost bats, and whatever Lucifer is supposed to be. My personal favorite though is the government is turning the streetlights into Blade Runner. That is truly elite work. But here's the part that actually matters. A lot of people realize something uncomfortable while driving under these lights. They miss warmth. They miss nights that felt like night. They missed driving without being overstimulated. They missed the orange glow of childhood highways and suddenly a broken light became a reminder that progress doesn't automatically mean better. Sometimes it just means cheaper. This isn't about streetlights really, it's about everything. Screens getting brighter, cars getting louder, cities getting harsher, design optimization for metrics instead of us humans. The purple lights are a bug, but they accidentally felt more livable to some people than the feature that they replaced. And that should worry a lot of us. I mean, eventually these lights will disappear. Cities, they're gonna have to replace them. Manufacturers will quietly fix the phosphor issue. The road will go back to stark white and most people won't think about it again. A few will remember driving home at night under a stretch of purple lights, windows down, music on, feeling weirdly calm, feeling like the world slowed down for just a second, and they'll realize something. We don't actually want brighter, we want better. So no, America's streetlights aren't turning purple on purpose. They're turning purple because a massive batch of LEDs failed in the same dumb way at the same dumb time. But in doing so, they accidentally showed us something important, that the future doesn't need to be blinding, that efficiency isn't everything, that sometimes a mistake feels more human than the plan, and yeah, Sometimes it feels like you're just driving through a music video, and honestly, I get why people kind of love it, even if it was never supposed to happen. So, what are your thoughts on purple lights? Let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, I love them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, well, like, subscribe, and remember to go to winthisidealcar.com to get entered to win your dream car plus cash. Check out some of these ideal vids. I'm Brad Danger. This is Ideal. Catch you next week, and promise me one thing. Keep living the ideal lifestyle.